going to demonstrate how to do the perfect polish application. We're going to first start with a wipe of, with nail polish remover to make sure that there's no oils, residues, or moisturizing lotions left on the nail plate that would repel the polish and influence the longevity. Once we've noticed that that has evaporated from the nail plate, we're going to go on to our base coat. Now, the base coat will always have a sticky film, so you always want to advise your clients not to touch their nails once painted to the towel that may collect any lint as well as cotton. Although this is a clearer as well, we still want to have the same precision, not touching the eponychium area as well as into the nail folds as it will still gather the polish and cause chipping in the long run as well. So a nice smooth thin coat for our base coat. We want to be sure to have make sure we want to be sure that the base coat has lots of time to dry as it will cause streaking and an inconsistency with your entire polish application. We're going to prepare our colored enamel by rolling it in between our hands just like this. This will avoid getting air bubbles in from shaking it. So first I want you to notice the support that I'm getting through my pinky here and using these two fingers, opposed to hovering over the nail and just having some natural shakes that uh, all of our hands do. So we're going to load up our brush, just about half. We want to make sure that we don't have too much polish on our brush or when you deposit it is going to run everywhere and, and into any of the corners and nail folds and you'll be working harder to try and clean that up than it would be just to go back for more polish. Our first initial po deposit of colour is just going to be about three quarters of the way down the nail. That lets us know how much polish is in the brush and then also gives us the ability to lightly fan up to the eponychium area right in the center to get the perfect crescent. We're then going to go on to the sides. Notice how I'm in fact pivoting her finger as well as the entirety of the brush itself giving us a really smooth fan of the bristles that will just wrap around that side and all the way down again pulling here at the side nail fold right to the tip and secondly our other side you'll also notice when I deposit the brush I'm not trying to line it up to this line here to go in it blindly what I'm doing is contacting uh, on the nail surface just below it enabling me to then work the brush as well as the bristles up Notice that I'm doing lots of little strokes as well, giving me more opportunities to have control over where my brush and bristles are going. With the first coat, we're also going to cap off the very top and then letting it dry. As we go into our second coat, we're not going to fan the bristles up. We're just going to do a nice smooth deposit, still at the cuticle line there, down both the sides, without touching of course. And the other. You always want to be sure to have a lot of time in between your coats for the polish to dry. Especially with the top coat, for any polished colors that you choose um, that have a lot of frost in them or a high shimmer, you're going to notice more streaking as well as each individual brush strokes. Uh, again, you always want to make sure that it's always parallel to the nail folds as well, so very straight linear uh, strokes, but also if you don't wait a lot of time, that will create more hollow areas as well. We're going to prepare um, our orange wood stick for any cleanup. I always take this opportunity while the, the colored enamel is drying before the top coat to clean up the sides and under we're going to take a little bit of cotton and stretch it out just like this. You can then use a birch wood stick, an orange wood stick, slightly put it in the, the center here and twist, giving us a very detailed point just like this. We're going to be using the nail polish remover 
As you can see, I don't have any polish down the sides here, um, but I will show you here how we would clean it up. So it's just pulling slightly down the side and just using the polish here on the very nail polish remover on the very tip to clean the sides and underneath and the other sides. You'll also find if there are small areas that have touched at the cuticle area, um, in the eponychium area, you can use the detail of the corner here to slightly clean it up as well by small little strokes just to help get a smooth finish. And lastly, finishing with our top coat, we want to give a generous amount right in the center, both the sides, Ensure not for it to pool in the nail fold area and the cuticle area and capping off to complete the perfect polish application. Through practice as well as these key aspects of technique, you'll have a perfect manicure, perfect polish application every time.